April and today of course I'm somewhere different in my house this is my bathroom um, and I decided to do the video in here because it gives me really good natural lighting so this video here is actually a hair video of course and this is B and H F hair extensions so I will post your information below. They did send me this hair and I'm going to be making a wig out of it. This is a different type of hair. Something totally out of the norm for me. Um, really out of the norm. So I do have four 24 inch bundles of their Crazy Curl um, hair. And it's the Peruvian hair, as um, which is Peruvian hair. Now I did get some free strip lashes, which I'll probably give to my daughter because I don't wear the strips. But I did get that and also this cute bag which you can put and store things in. And their brochure or basically their flyer. This tells you how to wash the hair. So they have like this great website and they have all different types of hairs and textures and just really, really great. But they have this other portion of their website which you can find on um, Instagram which they haven't posted up yet onto their web their actual website but it's on their Instagram which is their candy coated hair so when I say this hair is out of the norm for me it's like really really out of the norm so like I said it's their crazy curly Peruvian hair and I have four 24 inches and a four by four closure so now first of all you do see the darkness then you see the gray and the purple ombre tips so I asked them to ombre it because this is their crazy curl and I wanted it gray. I wanted it kind of like a silver gray because I wanted to try that color or something different. But I wanted it um, purple at the bottoms, the ends, like ombre. Now I didn't really specify what type of curl pattern or hair texture I wanted. Basically I just said I wanted it silver and gray and didn't matter what lens, nothing too short. So they sent me the curly one. I'm not really sure if I can rock really curly hair in this color because this is just like a really different color for me. Um, but the hair is a silky texture so the good thing about it is it can be flat iron. Of course the curls are not going to stay like this once you wash the hair. But I will say this, they did a really really great dye job on this actual hair. And I'm just stretching the curls out because I want to just see how it will look um, once it's washed kind of like it'll kind of be like looser curls hopefully um, I will say the um, the hair seems a little dry to me um, and it's probably from the dye and the bleaching process because this is the natural color here which is a darker color um, so it does seem a little dry which I'm going to put some product on it and hopefully it gets its um, gains its luster back but yeah so purple purple ombre and gray like that is totally different but this is like a pretty ass color. Like, this is a really pretty color. So this is from their candy coated line and all of the hair that I have is curly like this and they're all 24 inches. For the closure, it's a regular lace closure. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Um, it does have the dark roots. Um, they kind of did it seem like they kind of did the roots the same way that I do mine. It's like I part the closures. And I do have a video that I need to post up on that or this is probably just from curling it. But um, the roots are a dark brown because I did say I wanted like a natural color. Not like a, I didn't want like jet black or tar black. And I call it tar black because I've seen like loads of people that like make colorful hair, wigs or whatever. And their roots are like tar black. And it just looks like it's like a bowl, a bread box going around their hair. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it just, it looks just like it's all so uniform, the darkness of it. It just looks like a bread box sitting right there on their head where the black is at and this looks like something you would put on the street that black so I really didn't want that color I just wanted it really natural me per se I probably would have took up the roots a little bit more um because I like them to be like really really very minimal when it comes to roots I don't really like them too dark I don't really like too much because I want it to look natural but I really you know but this may probably look just really really good like this I'm glad that it's not uniform too because like I said, I don't really go for that bread box look. But as for the closure, so it's a 4x4. Four four, and the closure length is 18 inches. And thank gosh it has the reinforced sides. Because I highly recommend any type of closure that has reinforced sides. Like 
I get to do many different customers' wigs. I make them, and I really am, like, annoyed when I get the closures that don't have the reinforced sides. It just is extra work for me. Um, the closures are really ratty because they tear easy, and they don't lie flat. You have to fight with them. So I really suggest, and people, when you're buying the closure, make sure it has the reinforced sides. If you have to spend a couple bucks more, then by all means, just spend a couple bucks more. But these kind of closures are just way better versus the ones that don't have them. So, of course, you know what else is there for me to do I don't have to do anything but create the wig and then I'll wash it afterwards to loosen the curls it's it's totally different for me just totally different totally so yeah so see you guys in the field okay you guys so I am done creating the unit I will tell you that the hair was very dry it was very dry and <clears throat> when I washed it or when I was sewing it I was really like hoping like okay once I wash this, I'm going to flat iron it because I didn't want those big curls and I'm just hoping like whatever I use on this hair, hopefully it brings us back its luster and it's not so dry. So thank goodness when I washed it, the curls actually did not come back. So I'm not really sure what they use. To me, I'm thinking that they use like perm rods to curl the hair because the, her the, the hair did not curl at all once I washed it. There was like maybe a little limp curl in it, but it was not like a curly wig at all. So that's one thing that I was really pleased with because I did tell myself I'm going to have to really work with this hair to make sure that it gets flat because there was no way I was going to wear curly hair like that in that particular color. Another thing that I did have to do to this unit is I had to tweeze some of the actual closure because the knots were not that great. So that was one thing that I was not too fond with at all. And from what I did to it, I did use like a deep conditioning. Um, it was the one from um, Shea Moisture. And I used that and I let it sit on the hair for like an hour and just brushed it thoroughly through the entire hair and let it sit with a bag on top of it for an hour and it actually worked out great. So what else I ended up doing is because it was so long and the end seemed a little bit dry to me, I did cut off um, and layer the unit just to give it soft layers and to also take the dry ends off. And for where the closure was, because the ends were ombre purple, it kind of left like a weird line right about here. So it kind of looked blotchy. So I had to basically cut all the purple out of the actual closure and created it within a few hours on a mesh dome cap which I have four combs attached and like I said I did tweeze it and I put some concealer in it. I'm going to try this out. We're going to see how it works out and hopefully it works out well. even gonna front I'm not even going to front I'm feeling the wig I am I even like the color okay funny but I do like the color it does not look like my wig I'm um, from because I did a synthetic wig that was colorful like this it was silverish gray and it was from Isis okay so that kind of had me disappointed and so I felt like this was going to look like that as well but okay you know what let me just put some of this to hold my curls loving it I'm I'm, a, I'm not gonna toot my own horn but I will say this that it looked it looks so much better than what it did look like when it was sent to me I wish I would have taken a picture of it after I finished making the wig it looked after I finished making the wig my daughter even said it looked like a bad synthetic wig because it was so big and puffy and tangled and it was hell it was pure hell brushing this hair when it was wet like really I had to brush it with the conditioner and, and I this is what I used Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil 
deep strengthening treatment mask i use this this stuff is like amazing if you guys in need to use a deep penetrating deep conditioning mask i would highly suggest this and after this after that was done i actually went ahead and used this i'll make you look amazing a daily spray it's gorge so i got this this is a 20 dollar um, bottle i got this from boxycharm last month and i was like and eh, i'll try it when i get around to it it says it's a magical leave-in conditioning spray that will turn your hair into the sexiest hair ever repairs damaged hair instantly adds shine see tangles like no other protects from heat seals and protects hair color prevents split ends stops hair breakage creates amazing silkiness enhances natural body and helps with flat irons so i sprayed a lot of this on the hair once it was damp and it was conditioned and it was rinsed out i sprayed this on it because i said let me just give this a try it does not hurt to try because this hair is going to need it and this is actually what worked for my hair it's called gorge and i'll post the information below this is a four ounce bottle it's probably not twenty dollars it says on the back you can get twenty dollars off by using a certain code um use code bc20 on gorgehair.com and you'll get twenty dollars off like i said that it did not curl back up because i knew that if it did it was going to be a price for me to pay with flat ironing this hair because i would i refused I actually refuse to wear this hair curly. And for some reason, I always complain about how I curl hair. This curl actually worked out for me. I used my cheap Conair. Like, it's like a, a, a two-inch barrel. I use that and curl the hair. And it always works well with certain texture hair. If it's to, like, the kinky or yakky hair texture, it's not really going to work with it. But for, like, the silky textures, it works great. But, yes, it is a lovely, like, I really, really like it a lot. It's really, really cute, like my spunky look, but she's gorgeous. Like I will say it, it came out really, really nice once I had to do what I needed to do to it. The first time ever that I've had hair like this, and it was some work to do, but it was always, it's always still a good thing that I didn't have to do the work, meaning I didn't have to bleach it. And I don't really know how many times they bleached it to get it this gray, but much darkness at the root, it kind of works out for the best as it is anyway. So I am pleased with this turnout. I will post all the information for BHF extensions below, as well as the products that I use. I highly would recommend trying out Gorge. It really did a tremendous, amazing job on this hair. And as always, if you're interested in a unit to be custom made by moi, you can always hit me up at goingwiththewindwigs.webly.com and I'll put that information below as well as you can always send me a private email and as also there will also be pre-made wigs already on the website as well so on that note let me know what you think of my new unit do you think it suits me do you think I'm too old for it what do you think and make sure you rate comment subscribe and thumbs this video up and I'll speak to you guys on my next video